Alright, I'll make this a uh, quick little video here about the moon phases. Um, <clears throat> having a little discussion in one of the Facebook groups about this. People, Some people don't know that the moon only gets to 100% full when there is some type of lunar eclipse. It could just be a penumbral, penumbral lunar eclipse or a total lunar eclipse, but the moon does not get 100% full all the time. Now I just pulled this I pulled up a random picture I had of the moon, and I happened to take it on September 24th, 2018, which is a good picture I had. And you can see here, I took it at 8.16 p.m., and you zoom in on it, and you can see this crater here. This is a Terminator line. This moon was 99.9% .9 full, okay, and that is, as it's see September 2018 2016 same time and you see right here full moon 99.9 percent .9 then you take this slider bar here and slide it around okay that's the fullest it got and you go backwards you can see it going down 99.7653 okay it got you know 99.9 .9. well we'll go ahead and go to the 25th And slide it back over here. Is it midnight? You see, 99.9. .9. And you keep sliding it, and it starts going back down. It never reached 100%. <clears throat> As you can see here, moon calc is very accurate with the phases. Okay, it did not reach 100%. Um, I used uh, time and date. You know, time and date doesn't show the phases like moon count does. It just says it's going to be a full moon. September 24th, it says full moon, but it doesn't tell you that it's not going to hit 100%, I don't believe. If it's on here, I don't know where to find it. Uh, I'm more familiar with moon calc. But, let's see, there was, uh, let's see, go to this year, 2020, go to January. Um, somebody said there was a 100% full moon on January the 10th, which there was, but there was a penumbral eclipse that day in China. So you can drag your location. Let's see, it was 100% there. Okay, so it did get to 100%, but you can click here, this more, and you will see 2020. And then, okay, 110, 2020, you can see penumbral eclipse, penumbral eclipse. So that's why the moon got to 100% that day. But i look at the next full moon, which will be on, let's say, February 9th, I believe. Let's go to February. Yeah, February 9th is the next full moon. And you can do the same thing with your slider bar here. Look at your percentage right here. Slide your bar across the time. 99.9% <clears throat> is as full as it will get. And you can drag it to your location. I am in Florida. Right around here. So I will see a 99.9% .9 full moon. But it will not get to 100 and you can verify this with a telescope, P900, P1000, whatever you got. Um, you will be able to see, it will look exactly like this at 99.9. .9. You will see a very thin crater edge. You see one, two, you, know, you see a couple craters on that edge. That's the Terminator line. Okay. When the moon is 100% full, you cannot see craters. Um, I've showed this before. So January 31st, uh, 2018, lunar eclipse. This is the day of the eclipse. And this is a few hours before it. This is probably at 99.9 .9 or so. Let's see, this was 4.17 a.m. Let's go to... Well, 
but do you see a ragged edge? You don't really see any full craters. That was the beginning of the eclipse, but you can't actually make out a crater. You do see this ragged edge, but cannot see any craters. So when the moon, like I said, when the moon is 100% full, you won't see the craters. And you can do this for yourself. You can verify it. <clears throat> Use moon calc and it will tell you exactly what the phase is going to be. And you can see most every single full moon only gets to 99.9 .9. sometimes it's less sometimes it only gets to 99.8 or 99.7 but happens every time and it only gets to 100 when there is a lunar eclipse